Hello everybody. What's up? It's me Manjil and today I'm gonna show you a new stuff, few new stuff regarding the graphical problem. So in our last video where we made a racing not racing actually, where we made a uh, graphic moving. So we had done about the uh, car moving in the left direction in negative x axis. So in that in that case what happened was that when the graph was moving at that time it was popping not actually popping it was just like jumping so i'm so i'll show you what the error was that and we'll so let's debug the problem Look, now what happened what's happening is actually the graph is jumping our graph is like just blipping a uh, blinking so now this is a great problem because uh, it will be very difficult to make such a kind of projects like which are moving and other graphical objects which are moving because of this stuff. So now we have a very good technique called double buffering which is used in graphic to reduce this kind of view. So what actually is double buffering and what it does? So double buffering is a technique where you are loading a two screen. Actually you can't see the two screen but in the front view front screen you are visualizing in the back screen it is setting up the other stuff like what actually the next position of the graph so I'll show you practically so for that we and the new thing is now in it graph I've done this use this in some videos so now it's not necessary to use because we have another kind of graphical function which allow us to make a graph a window on the base of our Resolution or on the base of our height and width. So for that, we have a function called init window. What it will do? It will initialize a graphical window first. So, which have given the first two arguments. They are the horizontal and vertical side. So, this is width and this is height. The third argument is simple. It's just the name of the window. Then these are the starting point. Like from which point of the screen coordinate? This screen is also a 2D coordinate. So, from which point of the coordinate the screen that uh, our screen would start so these two are width and height name of the screen and these are just starting position of left and top so that means it will be here so now compile the program by using this stuff you won't feel much difference just the thing is your graphical size increase and as you, see, as you saw that it's starting it was here it popped up here so now see our graph is blinking now what shall we do for that? So for that we need a variable called page. So you will know for what purpose it is used. And we have two functions. I'll explain you first. I'll show you set active page, set visual page, page one minus page. So first I'll show you how it actually works and I'll explain you what is the technique behind it. Now you can see the graph is not blinking, it's moving so fluently. So that's a thing that we want in any our graphical problem. So for that we have a function called set active page. So what does set active page do? As I already told that we are using a double buffering technique which will set a currently walking page and currently visualizing page that we are seeing. We have two pages. Set active page. We are giving it an argument called page which is zero which means the currently walking page is zero. So if the zero is working then which page we want to see in the screen obviously one because there are two screen means two pages zero and one so we are passing here active page as zero so that it would work there now we want to see in the screen another page which is not working which already completed which work is already completed so we are to visualize that page so for that we use the function set visual page and where we are giving argument one minus page so why we are giving one minus page because we want to just change the value between 1 and 0. So, whenever we are walking on page 0, at that condition, the, our visual page will be 1. So, whenever we are walking on page 1, our visual page will be 0. Because 1 minus 1 equals to 0. If the page is 0, then our visual page will be 1. If the active page is 1, then our visual page will be 0. So, for that, we are changing the page here. So, 1 minus page, page equal to 1 minus page. So, what it does is when our page is 0 is starting, it would change that to 1 because 1 minus 0 is 1. 
So now again our visual page will be 1. Visual page will be 0 from 1. So again when the visual page value is 0 at the 1 at that condition 1 minus 1 will be 0. Again page will be set to 0. So it will go here active page will be 0 and visual page is 1 minus 0 1. Again when the page is here 1 minus 0 1 it will go here our active page will be 1 and our visual page will be 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So we are seeing the page one page and the currently working page is just another. So we are just changing the values of 1 and 2 and we are just changing the screen. We are rotating around the screen or we can say looping around the screen on the two screen. Among them one is currently working and one is currently which we are seeing. So that's the technique behind it. So we use the two functions. So if you don't understand properly then just comment me below or just post the whatever your confusion in the Facebook group which is given below. So link is posted below so if you have any doubts or any stops or any idea that which kind of project I should start because I am starting a new project on graphics so I am going to show you how you can use actually this graphical function to make a particular project so if you have any ideas regarding that if you want me to do that then just mention the comment below otherwise um, after two three days I am going to start a new project till we start from basic project like this uh, like a clock or other stuff then we are going in advanced project like making paint software or like simulation software and so on and so forth so this is all for today thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel stay tuned for further more updates and if you have any comments just post down and other stuff so on and so forth just don't stop practicing thank you very much